This is a presentation on unicompartmental knee arthroplasty, also known as a partial knee replacement. At first, we'll start with a case. This is a 74-year-old female retired professor. She walks 30 minutes per day. She has medial joint line pain, no prior surgeries, and most importantly, she does not want surgery. If you look, at, if you look at her MRI, you can see that on her medial tibial plateau, she has swelling in the bone. This is an indication of overload of the bone and medial compartment osteoarthritis. She's tried cortisone injections, non-weight bearing, we've considered arthroscopy, microfracture. The non-surgical options are physical therapy, weight loss, non-steroidal anti-inflammatories, narcotics, bracing, other types of injections. When all of those fail, the best solution is a partial knee replacement. Here you can see on AP and lateral views, we've resected the diseased overloaded part of her knee and placed a articulating implant with a polyethylene insert. The classic indications for a unicompartmental knee arthroplasty or partial knee replacement are someone who is sedentary or low activity, age greater than or equal to 60 years, minimal pain at rest, less than 15 degrees of varus deformity, range of motion of at least 90 degrees without a contracture, correctable medial deformity, thin body habitus, single compartment arthritis that's post-traumatic or osteonecrosis, and a stable knee with an ACL. Some of the extended indications for a partial knee replacement are a moderate to high activity patient, someone 40 years or older, without a BMI cutoff, less than 10 degrees of flexion contracture, correctable medial deformity, single compartment arthritis, post-traumatic or osteonecrosis, and sometimes we still do this procedure in someone with an unstable knee that's combined with an ACL reconstruction or other ligamentous procedure. The main contraindications for a partial knee would be someone with rheumatoid arthritis, knee pain in multiple compartments, decreased range of motion, someone obese, someone with instability, someone with an ACL tear, or someone less than 60 degrees. Here's another case of a 61-year-old physician, medial-sided knee pain who's obese. You can see on her AP view, the medial compartment has a defect of the medial femoral condyle, difficult to see on the lateral x-ray. MRI was obtained, which reveals swelling in the bone and the dreaded black line of her medial compartment with an extruded medial meniscus. Lateral view here shows the dreaded black line. So this is osteonecrosis or avascular necrosis of the medial femoral condyle. Essentially, her bone is dying off with poor vascularity. After six months of non-operative treatment, she received a partial knee replacement or a unicompartmental knee arthroplasty where we resected the diseased bone and replaced it with metal and a polyethylene insert.